going on guys and welcome back to the channel now I thought I'd do a little short video on my best finds of 2020 I say my best finds finds stroke pickups additions to the collection um, not all these are in an order with regards to how much I paid for anything so it's not like oh the number one is the best because it was the best bargain it's just to do with um, what I thought were the particular um, best finds of 2020 now quite a few people have already done this video so I thought I'd just follow suit and do like I say a little 10 minute video showcasing um, some of the better finds 2020 was quite probably my quietest year to be honest with you in regards to additions to the collection so I'm going to mention a handful of um, good finds not my top five but good finds that I think need a mention I've I've had to go back through my Instagram for the last 12 months to sort of look at and try and remember some of the pickups. Some of the pickups I don't need to because they're more memorable and I can remember them off the top of my head because they were good. But others I've had to check my social media. Um, so in no particular order, um, some, of the some of the good finds of this year was the Mad Balls figures, the, the Head Poppers. Um, I only need one figure now which is Hornhead, uh, I've got the rest of them, and I've got them all pretty quick, and all at a reasonable price as well. Um, and that's some other figures I need to mention are the Golden Axe uh, 2 Skeleton Pack, that look really well in the Ray Harryhausen collection. I'm really pleased with them. The Monsters in My Pockets, the two big 24 packs that I picked up in the year, I got them at a really good price as well. And also the Shocker figure, that I've been after for about two and a half years from the Spider-Man animated Spider-Man toy biz toy line. So I'm really, really pleased with them. So guys, here's my top five. It's not all toys. It's just in regards to additions to my collection. So number five is Toxy from the Toxic Crusaders figure that I bought during the year off Facebook from a guy called Joe that I know. Um, I think I paid like £20 plus postage for it. It's on card. I think the card's starting to come away. If I'm not wrong, I think it's been taped, but it's a really nice card. It looks really nice, really colourful. Um, never really been massively into Toxic Crusaders. Weren't into it as a kid in the 90s, but I thought it was so colourful and so it was. it is a really cool figure and the price was really good. So I added it to my collection. I've got no intentions of getting any more Toxic Crusader figures, to be honest with you. So that's number five, Toxic from Toxic Crusaders. Number four is the Masters of the Universe uh, Gumball Machine, which I bought sealed, unopened. Um, this did come with a bit of a price tag, but then saying that what I paid for it compared to what they've been selling for, this was actually on an auction on eBay. Um, I think I pay, ended up paying just over £100 for it. I think it was 105 including postage, but looking at sold, they sort of they don't come up too often. Uh, quite a hard piece to come by. Normally go for about 150, so I was pleased to pay that. It is an unusual item, um, although it was one of very few items that I added to the Masters of the Universe collection. And as you guys know, if you'd have watched the previous video that I did a few days ago uh, with a, with my room tour tour of the room, um, I have sold some good Masters of the Universe um, items from my collection. I kind of sort of fallen out of love with it a little bit. I think there's just too much new stuff out there being pumped, 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 and I'm just, I'm just kind of, just, it's not for me at the minute, the collecting side of Master of the Universe, but it was a cool item, it was very, very nice um, piece to add, so that's why it's number four. Number three, again, like I said, guys, not all necessarily toys, um, are the handmade statues stroke busts that I got done. Um, I actually got three done in quite quick succession, really really cool uh, i got the cyclops um, from uh, the ray harry house and cyclops i got talos from jason and the argonauts and i also got a really really heavy godzilla um half godzilla half mecha godzilla bust really cool items uh, from andy cope who's on instagram does some really really good ones very reasonably priced i think uh talos was about 40 pounds Cyclops was about 50, the Godzilla was about 75, um, they're all hand painted, like I say, really, really well done, um, and it's cool because you're like supporting, I felt like I'm supporting a small business as well, this guy's obviously an independent um, artist, you know, 
make statues and stuff um, and hand paint some more as well. So some really, really cool items. And I'm hoping to get a couple more of them in, in the new year. So they're number three. Number two, again, this was an item that I've been after for many years and I happened to end up getting it off one of my close friends. So this is uh, Spider-Man 300, the comic, which is obviously Venom's first appearance. Been after this comic for many years, sort of 10, 15 years, but never really pulled the plug on it, pulled the trigger on it, shall I say. Um, but they go for about 200, between two and 300 pound now. Um, but Vic managed to find one uh, at a, f a flea market in London and I've got it for a really good price. Um, we were both happy for, for, for what he paid for it and obviously what I ended up paying for it, it was you know nowhere near the 200, 250 marks. So I was really pleased to add that to the collection. So number two is Spider-Man 300 comic, which is Venom's first appearance. Now number one is an overall collection um, that I've that I'd collated over a small period of time, a very small period of time. So it's the Jurassic Park collection. So again, guys, I've done a separate video on this, and you would have seen it in the Toy Room Tour video that was only uploaded a few days ago. Now it started with three figures that I picked up at the boot sale. I paid forty five pound for all three, so fifteen pound each. Um, and I decided, you know what, let's just go with it because. I had them all as a kid. Um, I've got very good memories of having them back in 93, Christmas 93. Um, and eventually I did end up buying the playset. Uh, I ended up getting most of the dinos um, off of Rob from Robbo's Toys and Jason, um, the toy collector, at one of the Chatham toy shows, which obviously I'll, I've shown the image of on here. So the only one I'm missing now that I want is, I've mentioned is the Stegosaurus. Um, I might get the two vehicles at another date, but the prices on them two have gone really high, even loose, and the same for the helicopter as well. It frustrates me because I had every single one of these. I had every single figure, every single dinosaur play set and vehicles from uh, the, the very first series, but um, I'm pleased to have been able to have got to where I got with it. Um, definitely the highlight of the year for me, I think. Although every part of the collection is is a small highlight but that's a big highlight you can see it takes it takes center stage now in in the toy room so i'm really really pleased with that there's a few other little bits and pieces i picked up over the year some nice marvel legends a lot of necker figures the sarah connor john connor double pack marty from back to the future um i picked up a couple of necker godzillas so the NECA collection and obviously the Gremlins and no, there was no Gremlins featured in this. I didn't really pick up too much Gremlin stuff this year. A handful of NECA figures and a couple of other small bits and pieces. Hence why nothing really featured. Um, I don't. It's not that I don't see them as significant or anything. I just don't see them as a top five. Uh, but yeah, overall, twenty twenty was an okay year. Got some really cool pieces. What's twenty twenty one going to bring? Well, of course, I'm searching for the Stegosaurus from Jurassic Park. Um, I'm also searching for Hornhead, obviously, to complete my Mad Bull Poppers collection. Not too difficult to get Hornhead, but I'm just not going to pay £50, £60 pound for him. Not when I've been paying £15, £20, £25 for the rest of them. I'm a patient guy when it comes to collecting. I'm in no rush to get these things. The price has got to be right. Um, I'm not going to go overpaying because all I'm doing then is I'm encouraging the market. It's, there's just no need for it. I, I know what it's worth. Is Hornhead worth £60? Not really. If people want to pay £60 for him, good luck. He's a £30, £35 toy, in my opinion, um, on his own. I'm not talking about him with the with the tricycle thing that, that, that he originally came with. I'm just talking about the figure on his own. Stegosaurus in the box, going to be a little bit more hard to come by. A few have popped up on eBay, but the boxes have been really rough. A sealed one popped up for like £400. I'm not paying that. Um... All my big dinos here are actually open. They're not mint sealed. So um, I'm not overly fussed about having a mint. I'm not a, I'm not necessarily a mint on card, mint on box collector. If I can get a Stegosaurus in a nice box and the box is open and I don't have to pay stupid money for it, I will. Um, apart from that, guys, I'd like to get the weapons for my Battle Beast that I'm missing, but 2020 completely went blank on the Battle Beast. Like I didn't do I didn't get anything. I think I bought a Battle Beast annual. 
um, in 2020. But apart from that, I, I didn't add anything because I've got a complete collection of Battle Beasts. Um, I just need some weapons. I think I need about 35 weapons. There's like 70, is it 78 figures across series, series 1, 2 and 3, but I'm missing like... I've got all of season series one. I need a lot of series two, and I need a lot of series three. Um, but that's a hard task, guys. That's a really hard task. So, but yeah, apart from that, it's going to be just your regular figures that are coming out. There's a few nice Necker ones that are coming out. The Toy Biz animated Spider-Man collection. I'm pretty much happy with. I'm happy with where that's at. WWE Elites are going to be a continuation of what comes out. Um, but vintage wise, there's nothing really I can really think of now at this present moment in time. Um, but who knows? Something might just a light bulb might just go in my head, and then all of a sudden, I want to start collecting a new line. But at this present moment in time, I'm really happy with the way my collection is where it's at. Um, it might be a good time to save some money and, and get ready for some nice holidays. But another thing I want to show you guys is my first pickup of 2021. It's my only pickup so far. I know we're only a few days in, but I picked up the Mego uh, Rocky Balboa figure. Um, I got this off Amazon, ordered it before Christmas, but it came yesterday and I've opened him up, obviously. This is the new, obviously the new Mego um, that's come out. I think they're limited to like 10,000 figures each. Um, I haven't seen this guy... In the shop share he hasn't been in hmv i know the horror figures have been in hmv but this guy hasn't um i picked him up for 24 posted i think so 20 quid take the postage away really cool figure will look lovely in the rocky balboa collection um but yeah guys that's pretty much it i feel like i say it's just a short little video to show you guys my top finds of 2020 I hope everyone had a, a good new a, a good new year not that many people could do much because you know we're limited to what we can do in this whole tier stroke lockdown system so let's hope we can all get out of it soon so guys thanks for watching as always if you are watching this and you ain't subscribed please consider to do so links to all my social media are below the guys that are subscribed don't forget to click the bell so that when i do upload new videos every now and again <laughs> you do get notified because otherwise the only way people know about it is me plugging it through facebook and instagram so guys thanks for the support Let's hope for a good 2021 in the world of collecting, car boots, toy hunting, even hopefully getting to America as well at some point. So guys, enjoy your day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.